Well, if Macro works on this camera, you'll be able to see something quite interesting. I'm just checking that I've been setting my... being able to set my tools at the right height. Not enough light for it. Uh, on the centre line, because all I was trying to do is turn down an oil nipple for my Myford lathe in the uh, PC Basic the Emco Unimat PC Basic. And what I've found is that particularly this tool, which had a nice sharp point on it at one time, has had the point completely worn off. Not this one, not this oil nipple, but uh, the one that's now glued into the lathe. Instead of actually turning the nipple down. Here's another tool. Uh, and again, you can see a similar thing. The point, uh, a cutting point completely removed. But that's the one where it's most evident, this one. And as I tilt it into the light, you can see how it's just worn the complete tip away. So instead of the tool cutting into the metal, this fairly soft metalish looking machine has... Um, actually worn away the tool. You can see that where the tool has been clamped up into the tool holder the set screws have bit into it so perhaps it, the metal of the tool is too soft uh, which explains that one. But even on this tool which I believe is quite hard as you can see there aren't any markings from the uh, screws uh, biting down and, and indenting it but even that one has had the tip worn off. Quite an interesting phenomenon. Now, I at first thought it might be because of flex in the tool under the load. Uh, the, maybe the bed twisting, but um, I can't... Uh, I can push this quite hard. And I don't see any significant flexing. It's, it seems to be quite rigid there. The only other thing I can imagine is that gripping of the item in the jaws was such that it was allowing the item to move. So that instead of holding the item solid, so the tool can cut into it, the item deflected so that you got wearing rather than cutting occurring at the tool. And by deflecting it, uh, instead of the tool being on the centre line and therefore cutting into the metal, if something is deflected and it's gone below, then you're not actually cutting it, are you? Uh, you're kind of rubbing up against it and the rotating metal, even though it's relatively soft, is then able to wear the top surface of your tool, that's my finger I was looking at there, rather than the tool cutting into it. Right, there we go, quite an interesting little thing. Quite surprised. I managed to put the uh, nipple into the Mifrid lathe, which looked a bit too big for the job, uh, and cut it nicely uh, until it was undersized, not the size I wanted, so I couldn't tap it. So it's now glued in. I'm going to see if I can do this explanation by sketching. I've just been pondering why trying to turn a nipple down has caused the strange wear of a tool. So if you've got some material chucked in the lathe and you're bringing a tool up to it on its centre line, then you'd expect it to cut. Now, two things could happen uh, because that's turn it, rotating in that direction. Is that this could get deflected down and therefore move below the centre line so that effectively the tool is now below the centre line. Or the piece you're holding, in this case it's a small piece, could deflect, get deflected up. If you are, if that's the centre line, uh, and you're starting to cut below the centre line, then at some point, instead of cutting, you're just going to be rubbing. So if I let's try and exaggerate that. So if we've got the tool deflected down here like that, then. Uh, I'm not sure if that's showing it very well, but instead of the tool cutting, it's just rubbing against there 
and then that rubbing wears away the tool point and has ended up with the effect that uh, is going to be shown in the video. So you end up with a tool which instead of having a point on it has a its corner cut off like that. So the point is gone. Uh, quite interesting. I'd be interested in any other comments from you as to why you think that might have happened. Uh, because that was quite an interesting thing to see. Thank you.